Thank you for choosing a Juice Charger Me 3. We explain the installation step by step. Download the latest version of the installation instructions first. You can find it on our website. Link in the video description. Product overview. In the box of the Juice Charger Me 3, you will find the charging station, the owner card. It confirms your ownership. If you have this card, you have full access to all the device settings and can onboard it in the app. So keep it safe. Two pre-configured RFID cards, a plug holder with screws and dowels, one large and one small cable gland. For the installation, you need an ethernet cable. Depending on the surface, a drill or cordless screwdriver, Phillips and slotted screwdrivers, and suitable screws and dowels. Open. First, switch off the power at your distribution board. Undo the four screws on the side of the cover and lift off the cover. Loosen the six screws on the inner housing and lift up the upper part. Unplug the ethernet cable connected to the cover from the juice charge controller and remove the cover completely. Preparation and assembly. Decide whether you want to surface mount or flush mount the charging station. Punch out the relevant cable bushings for the chosen variant. The large cable bushing is for the power supply and the small one for the LAN cable for the internet connection. Determine the installation height and drill the holes using the drilling template. This can be found on the back of the installation instructions. Attention. When printing, make sure that you print it in the actual size. Some printers slightly adjust the size when printing to be sure you can remeasure the distance of the holes on the template. Feed the power cable through the cable gland into the inner housing and mount the charging station to a stable wall with sufficient load-bearing capacity or the separately available pedestal. Use suitable screws and dowels for mounting. Please note, do not use countersunk screws and tighten the screws with a maximum torque of three Newton meters, otherwise the housing may be damaged. Connection. Strip off the sheathing over a length of approximately 150 millimeters and each wire so that approximately 13 of 15 millimeters of copper are exposed. Depending on the version, connect it to a spring-loaded terminal or an RCBO in accordance with the locally applicable standards. Connect the LAN cable as shown in this illustration. We recommend connecting the station to the internet via LAN for stability reasons. Tighten the cable gland with a torque of 9 Newton meters. If you still want to connect the station to the internet via Wi-Fi, you can download the update tool on your laptop via the link in the video description. Open the program and click on advanced settings at the bottom right. Then connect your laptop to the juice charge controller using a micro USB. If the USB connection is established and your laptop has an active internet connection, both dots in the top right hand corner will be green. Then click on configure network and enter the access data for your Wi-Fi network under WLAN. Make sure that you have entered everything correctly and then click next. Repeat this for all stations that you want to connect to the Wi-Fi. If you want to set up a load shedding, refer to the illustration in chapter 18 in the supplied manual. Commissioning. Place the cover of the inner housing on the assembled inner housing. Reconnect the previously unplugged ethernet cable to the juice charge controller. Switch on the circuit breaker in the station and then the circuit breaker in the supply line. Onboarding. The station is ready for onboarding in the app. You can do this in the J Plus Pilot app, which you can find in your mobile phone's app store, or in the browser at dashboard.juice.world. We show it here in the app. Download the app and register. Click on the plus symbol and scan the owner card. The station is now integrated into the dashboard. You can now configure the station from anywhere. How this works and what is possible is explained in the video linked at the top right corner. Once you have completed the configuration, you transfer the owner card and thus also the rights to the owner. He or she carries out the onboarding of the station in the app and has thus taken over the station. Completion. Pull the frame apart slightly and press the cover out of the frame from above. Peel off the protective film and carefully press the cover back into the frame until it clicks into place. Place the cover of the inner housing on the back plate, paying attention to the alignment. Tighten the six screws of the inner housing. We recommend a torque of three Newton meters. Place the frame on the inner housing and tighten the four screws of the frame. 
plug holder. Mount the supplied plug holder using the two screws and dowels provided. We recommend installing it directly next to the charging station. Testing. At the end, take a final test in accordance with the locally applicable standards and the regulations of the energy supplier. Note, to start the charging process, you may need to activate the station with one of the RFID cards supplied. That was the installation of the Juice Charger Me 3. You can find more videos on our channel.